morning everybody I've come back into my craft room the uh, the bit I did yesterday is all cured and it's all ready for the dragon to go on so I don't know how I'm going to do it. so I'm going to have to try and hit it onto the uh, mould so here we go let's see how I can do this I think I've got my my dryer here somewhere. Oh, I maybe have. I did bring it back in here after all. <laughs> right, I've had a bit of a a move around because I've put my uh, second table in. <coughs> Which is all messed up at the moment but uh, I've got some more sorting to do so that it uh, I'm going to try and heat this first and if that doesn't work I'm going to uh, glue it then heat it but hopefully oh, I might have to switch it on at the wall it might help Right, let's have a look, see if I can do it this way. Now I'm going to have to take it off and try and cut as much as I can off and glue the rest. I mean, you can see it is sticking. It's just... I don't want to stick it with all that on. Hmm... Did I put my little scissors? Definitely have to find a better way. I mean, I have cut quite a lot. Look, that's sticking there. I wonder why. 
I'm going to have to get myself a new hair dryer. <laughs> come on, out you come. That's it. This is all the insides all stuck. Right. Right, I'm just gonna have to make up some more resin and put it on. So I will be with you shortly. Um, I'm not sure about these, I think these are far too big. I thought I'd got the smaller one but I can't seem to find it anywhere so if necessary I'm gonna have to get some uh, proper handles and screw them into it and maybe put some feet on the bottom right okay if you bear with me I'll just put you on pause and I'll mix some more resin Right guys, I've mixed 8 ounces of resin, the same as I did for the base. Uh, I'm using the Jean Shun again. And I've put a tiny little bit of the diamond dust in it, not as much as I did for the bottom, but, uh, and I'm not going to put it in the debubbler this time, I'm just going to pour it and let them come out naturally or use a bit of the uh, alcohol to remove them so hopefully because half of it is stuck it'll stay flat fingers crossed it to lift a few bubbles coming from underneath there some extra it's not far off the top Ooh, it's right off on the top at the back there I 
have to put a stick underneath again. I shouldn't have to, but there you go. Now then, how's that looking? right up to the edge as far as I can see yep Not that I might have to take out slightly because it's taken it away from the edge I just want the tiny tiny tiniest bit Don't get it any closer than that. Right, some left. Might see about putting it in one of my stars. Okay. Right, have I got enough to fill a star? I'm sure I will have. Nice deep stars, these. I like them. I think I've got about four or five of them. How is everybody today? I hope everybody's doing okay. I know we all say it every day, but uh, we like to think that uh, people are doing well, especially this time of year when it's so cold. Hopefully, nobody will go cold this, especially the elderly, with the help that they're getting from the government now. I mean, I got... Uh, I got myself some help from the, the government as well, being a pensioner, so... It's very much appreciated when you do get help. There never used to be this forthcoming with uh, help. The government's made lots of mistakes in the past. And uh, of course, people die with the cold, which is not good. And I hope people don't think because they've got the money that can go out and spend it. They need to use it on their utility bills so that they don't go cold. I know some some people will because they don't know any better but uh, I hope not 
Now that was absolutely perfect. Just the right amount for going in there. How much have I used? And I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna be mixing up some more resin and do something else because this was only a short one again, being uh, half of it. Or I might just start a new vlog. Because I want to spend quite a bit of the day in here today. See how uh, Lily handles it. I mean, she'll still come in and get me to take her out and things like that, obviously, but uh, other than that, I just hope she uh, manages. for the next job. Oh no. Oh dear. My new jumper. That's easy solved. Easy solved. Get it straight into the wash. And where have I put them? Oh, there it is. Get some uh, Acetone on it. Usually brings it completely out. I'll get the majority out with the isopropyl. Right. Yeah, it can go straight in the wash. believe I did that. I usually roll my sleeves up as well. Trust me. Right, I'm going to leave that to uh, cure and I will be back when it has set. Okay, see you later. Bye. Hi everyone. I hope everyone's having a good day. I'm back to demold my uh, little dragon. I haven't received the uh, the little handles for it yet so I will be showing you later on when it's complete because I've ordered two little coloured handles and uh, some feet for it so it'll s stand up off the the table and it won't scratch because it'll have like rubber feet on it. Anyway, I'll bring you down and show you the uh, the end result so far. So first of all, with the excess, I uh, I filled this snowflake. Now, for some reason, it ended up with a... Lily, no. It ended up with a bubble right in the centre. So, I'm going to have to file that down and uh, just uh, go over it with some UV to smarten it up. I will be making some more of these in different colours uh, now then, quite a bit of uh, overspill on that, so I've got some, I've got some trimming to do because right round th that side, 
it's all uh, a bit of overspill, but that side's okay. It's quite nice. It's got the uh, diamond dust in it, so it's it's nice and sparkly. And of course, you can see this anyway. But it's deeper than I expected it to be because it doesn't look deep when you look at this mould. It looks quite shallow, but that is quite deep. Oh, looks as if I might have caught a bit of a bubble there. There's a bubble burst on the surface there. So that'll need uh, filing down a little bit. Other than that, it is perfectly fine. And oh, now then, try and get it without getting a uh, shine from the window. Oh, I like that. I'm really pleased with that. I've got a black dragon to put in one, so I'll be doing that next, uh, along with a couple more of my snowflakes, because they'll be getting hung on my tree if I can ever get it out my shed, because uh, I'm uh, I'm under a housing authority, and uh, recently there's been some uh, movement of my shed along with other people's sheds because there's been a couple of trees growing between those sheds and the next door neighbours. So I think it's pushing the, uh, pushing the base and uh, misshaping it all. So I can't even unlock my door. So I'm waiting for them to come and sort that out. Anyway, so when I get the handles, it'll be two like two knob handles, one either side. So you just lift it up like that. And there'll be four, four feet on it. So I've got a little bit of uh, trimming to do around this one because it uh, over poured in places as well but other than that it is absolutely gorgeous I love it I'm so pleased anyway guys I hope you enjoyed that uh, video and uh, I'll be doing the next one as soon as this one's been put out. Okay, bye-bye now. Love you all. Take care. Right, guys, I haven't gone yet. I decided because I loved the snowflake so much with the uh, diamond dust in it. I've got all my other ones. So I've got five of them all together and that one that's already made will make six so they'll be perfect for my tree. So I've mixed the resin up already and I'm just going to stick some diamond dust in there. I'll look forward to getting my tree out of the shed once the council decide to come round and do it for me. I told them uh, ages ago that the foundations were getting uh, disrupted because of the tree. But, oh no, that won't happen. 
and here we go again. We can't open the doors. The neighbour's in the same boat because her door, she had doors right next to mine. Right. Let's see. Try not to overfill them because I had quite a bit to trim off that one that I made yesterday. Just pop a little bit in at a time. Fill the center up. My dog's not going to like me tonight because she's going to be going back into a cage to sleep. She's been out in the entrance way for a few weeks now and all of a sudden she's decided to uh, kick up about it and she's also taking the paint off the uh, the door frame. And of course, anything that gets damaged, if I ever move that out, it's got to be put back to how it was. Not that it was very nice when I moved in, like, because. Uh, They'd put horrible magnolia on the walls so it looked sickly. Ah. I hope you enjoy this little extra bit. had a message from my, my doctors well, probably came in yesterday but I didn't see it yesterday I just read it this morning and they've, they've found a, a another viral infection in my ears plus thrush this has been going on for months from one infection to another I no sooner get rid of one and within a couple of days my ears are itching again and it's awful especially on a night when you're trying to sleep and your ears start to itch and the uh, The leak fluid as well so it's like I'm in a swimming pool all the time I wish they'd hurry up and refer me to the uh, ear nose and throat because I shouldn't be getting them uh, all the time like this more in that one Ooh. try not to overfill them this time because it's quite quite hard trying to uh, clip the bits off that's between some of the jaggy bits Some of the some of the bits look higher than the others. Of course, that'll be because of the way it's been stored in the package. 
when it's been delivered, which isn't good. Anything from team will get delivered in their packages instead of boxes. And it's a right mess. Especially when you've got something that has to be flat. I think that one's as high as a dare make it. Tiny, tiny bit. I'll just have to get the uh, lolly sticks out if I have to raise them up in any corner. Of course, that one's flown over already. Oh dear. Lolly stick. Sure, it's gone right round the the top knot. That seems okay. more in these two and I have another another mold not the same as these but it's a big one as well certain places without touching the bottom of course don't want any scratches on the on the molds Let's hope these ones don't end up with a great big hole in the centre. Don't know why that happened. I mean, once it was poured and levelled out and all the bubbles had gone, or I thought all the bubbles had gone, it wasn't touched. So it really, it shouldn't have... Uh... Put that to the back. Do this one. Yeah, it looks as if it's full enough, that one. Try 
trying not to make it go over the edge. bubbles in the centre there. That's probably what happened. The, the bubbles must have accumulated after I'd uh, covered them up. Sometimes it's hard to tell whether they're full enough or not because <laughs> especially if you're the white mould and the the clear clear resin. And that one definitely wasn't full. So it's okay to that's near the top just that one at the back that wasn't near the top. I hope you can hear me all right. I'm, uh, I'm starting to drivel on a bit. <laughs> Sorry about that. And there's nothing in there. Get that round there. Don't want it missing its uh, little hook. Well, this little eye for the hook, or a rope, I should say. Bubbles, I'll get rid of them in a second. I dare I put any more in? No. Because that looks... As if it's not full at the back, but at the same time, it's full at the front. Like I say, it's the way that they're actually sitting because of uh, the way they were packed. No, that's not got anything wrong there. Come on. That's it. Loads of bubbles in the centre. At least they're going to the centre so you can see them. That one's definitely around the... the hole. Right, where's this other one? Where did I put it? There it is. Now this is a strange one, this one. I'm sure I'll have enough to fill it. I'll, do, I'll have to do quite a bit of problem though because there's quite a lot of uh, hidden gaps where they go under the actual, under the actual mould at the edge. Uh -oh. 
I might have to find something else. But something small. That's just something small. Because there's only a tiny bit left. Right, let's have a look. Go under there. Make sure there's no no bubbles under there. And right under there. I'll be catching up on my Daniel Cooper tonight. See if he's got anything that will help me in my next uh, my next project. He probably will have because a lot of the stuff that he does can be utilised in quite a lot of different. Uh, projects right round the edge round the edge we go I mean this has only taken a few minutes so like I say a little bit extra for you I might have enough just to finish topping that off Right, let's have a look, see if see if I can get away with it. Or not, as the case may be. Yeah, I didn't put anything else in. Right, what can I do with a dribble? a dribble. Should be something I can use. Something tiny, 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 tiny. the table. Right. Put that there. And I've got this. With I oh, might as well take them off. It's not as if I'm gonna need them now. Right. Get rid of that big one. Oh maybe should have left that glove on because I've got Sticky from the sticky from the bucket. That's it. It's all done. Right. I'll have to utilize it. Tiny, tiny hearts. Oh, I'm dribbling. I don't want to dribble. Where did that go? There. A little flower. Um. 
moon. So I've got my heat mat set up on the other table, but I haven't haven't yet plugged it in. Right. I think I'm going to need that scraper. To get the rest, the rest out. Waste not, want not. In the back of there. Now then, a smaller heart. Really tiny. I've now made my third sale on uh, on Etsy. So the first few weeks have been rather good for me. I've sold three cruet sets. No, two cruet sets and a Garfield egg cup. Lady bought the, the Garfield egg cup for a friend that was really into Garfield. I used to have a Garfield soft toy years ago. I used to lay on my bed. Oh, a bit too much. <laughs> Get the triangle if I can. Oops. Dripping, dribble, dribble, drip, drip. anywhere and sort it out when I've cleaned this up. I think that's probably about it. From the edge of course. my new my new sprayer 
if it works. I hope it does. <laughs> Maybe. Come on. Ah, there it goes. silly woman right in my face <laughs> oh it's the only time I'll smell of alcohol <laughs> well, at least my face will be clean <laughs> I'll have to go get it washed off <coughs> gosh that wasn't nice <laughs> An awful like an old fool. Right, ladies and gents. I think that's probably about it. Just ease these into the uh... now. Where did I put that? cocktail stick there it is try to ease it into the uh, edges make sure it's round the, the knob And up there, yes, too tiny for my eyes. Round the leaf, now then, shall I leave that like that sticking up, or shall I take some out and put it elsewhere? I need to take some from one of them, so I'll take some from, yeah, I'll take a bit from there. Put it in the moon. Let's fill that up. Right, so... That one's round the knob, that one's round the knob, that one's not even got anything in it apart from that little dribble, so that's okay. That one's round the knob. This is where I have a problem because the smaller the stuff I try to make, the more chance there is of the bubbles. And of course... It's very hard to put them right when they're so tiny because once you start adding little bits of resin to them they start to deform and not look so nice. Right. That should do. Get me out of there. And there. Right, now then, I need some alcohol on my hands. Make sure I've got it the right way around. 
No, accident. <laughs> right. Right, it's just a case of covering them up. And uh, I will see you in the morning when they're ready to demold. Try and get them all as close as possible to each other. that get that in there that doesn't need to be overhanging there get over right right ladies and gents I'll see you tomorrow bye for now bye Hi guys, Roseanne here. I've come in to do my demolding today. Do you remember I made the one star and I decided to uh, do a few more as an extra on your video? So here they are. You'll have to excuse me, I'm in uh, my dressing gown. I've just been out for a lovely meal with uh, family. My mum, Tretch. Uh, three of us my uh, younger brother couldn't make it which was unfortunate but uh, we had a nice meal out and I've come home and my stomach suddenly went into really bad spasms so I've got a poorly tummy and I'm just gonna put my feet up for the rest of the day not as if I can take Lily out for a walk because it's absolutely miserable as out there so I'm going to take you down and try to get these out of the uh, the moulds hopefully you can see them mm, not very easy to take out the mould I might have a little bit of Oh, look what I've just done. I've just ripped that one. Oh dear, never mind. I've still got four. It's not the point, but shouldn't have ripped that easy. Now the rest of it's come off quite easy. I don't know why that one didn't. Right. So there's that one. She's got a, a little bit on one of them, I think, somewhere. And that's why that's ripped. Never mind. Okay. I'll just take a little bit more care with this one. Mm, I can't believe that happened. Oh dear. I mean, look how easy that's coming off. There's another one. Beautiful. Lovely. Ah, one more to throw out. I wouldn't care. I was going to... I was going to order one more of the moulds to make six so I could make six together. Because next year I'm going to be making a lot more and selling them in sets. I'm going to leave that strange shit one till last. I hope everybody's okay. It's the first day today with going out with my family that I've actually felt Christmassy and I still haven't got my Christmas tree up my shed because I'm still waiting for them to come and 
They'll have to break the door down. It's the only way they're going to get into it. Yes, I'll definitely have to order some more of these uh, so three and this one. No, I think I'll I think I'll take these out first. Nice triangular shape. In the moon. Oh, a bit of overspill on that one. Hmm, two together. <laughs> well, that one is a little boot. Christmas boot, is it? Or is it a heart? I think it might be a heart. <laughs> oh, it's come off easy. A little oval. Oh yes, and there's the bigger heart. That needs a bit of a trim as well. And then that one. circle it's got a little bit of a bump on the top of it so that'll have to be uh, I think I've got them all oh no a couple more <laughs> so there's a leaf with the uh, the veins on and triangular shape and of course, I forgot about this tiny one, like a little club. I'll pick them up and put them a bit closer so you can see them. This is a brilliant strong mould. I've just been getting some new moulds and I'll have to put the... Uh, it's like from an Etsy shop. I'll have to put it online for you to see because they do really, really strong molds. And there's the fancy, uh, the fancy shaped snowflake. It needs a bit trimming off, but it's fine. Right. I'm going to pop them over there. That one can go in the bin. Let's see if I can get you to see them a bit better. Right. So there are all the things that I made yesterday after I'd done that, uh, the dragon uh, dish. Well, it's not a dish, it's a, a tray. But I'm quite pleased with them. It's a shame that mould uh, ripped, but uh, I'll soon... And sort that out. Just buy a new one. I mean, I've got one, two, three. There is another one somewhere. Where did I put that? But I want six of them all together. So, yeah. So I'll be ordering 
three more. Okay, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you can. Now, everybody, everybody take care. I don't know why it's gone to the small. But, uh, okay, guys. See you soon. Bye.